Hi guys, welcome back. This video is basically how to show economic growth through a production possibility curve. So firstly, economic growth means increasing national income, increasing real GDP. Um, and in order to show that on a production possibility curve diagram, we need to differentiate between two types of economic growth. One is actual growth and one is potential growth. So what is actual growth? Guys, actual growth basically refers to um, increasing GDP using your existing resources or your spare capacity or your idle resources that exist in the economy. Well, on the other hand, potential growth is basically an increase in productive capacity. So first, let's see what actual growth is and how do we represent that on a PPC. Now, guys, firstly, we know that, f so while drawing an economy's PPC, it's best advised that you write consumer goods and capital goods on the X and the Y axis. So let's say at point A, you're inside the PPC, and we've already discussed that in previous videos as well, that any point that will be inside the production possibility curve will sort of um, be inefficient um, because of certain reasons, because your your um, resources are um, unutilized, you're underemployed, your resources are unemployed, you're below full employment, and that's you know, sort representing allocative inefficiency. So if you're inside the production possibility curve, you are less than full employment. And not only that, you're also the fact that you're also um, using your resources inefficiently as well. So when we say that we're on point A, so some resources could either be unemployed at all, as in you're not really employing your resources, they're unemployed, they're pure below full employment. Or even if your resources are fully employed, let's say that you are fully you utilizing your resources, still you could, you know, utilize them inefficiently as in they might be fully employed, but they might be un inefficiently employed, basically. So if you're inefficiently employing your resources, you're not really, um, you know, maximizing your uh, sort of potential and you're not really maximizing the cap your own economy's capability is to produce at an outcome or produce an output that is on the production possibility curve. So if you're producing on the production possibility curve, you're utilizing all your resources um, efficiently as well. Uh, but if you're inside the PPC, so it could exist a situation where your resources are fully employed, but they are inefficiently employed, right? So inefficiently employing your resources would never let an economy fully um, materialize or capitalize on its potential and it will always be away from full employment or it will always produce an outcome that is less than or inside the production possibility curve that is less than its full employment of outcome that it could possibly produce right now so point a some resources are unemployed like, I, like i've written or some you know, some resources, whether fully employed, are inefficiently employed as well. So that that is basically point A, representation of point A. But remember that, so if we move, so if there's actual growth in the economy, remember that if there's actual growth in the economy, what's going to happen is that you will either move from point A to C or from point A to B. And if you move from point A to C, you're actually increasing the output of both consumer and capital goods. And if you're moving from point A to B, you're only increasing the output of capital goods without actually foregoing the output of consumer goods. So it could be either ways, right? But if you're producing either, if you're producing on B or you're producing on C, in both ways, in both cases, you are fully efficient, right? You are efficiently employing your resources and you're fully employed as well, right? So remember that if the production is efficient, if we use our resources efficiently, what's gonna happen is that, you know, the output of some goods could be increased without sort of having to forego less of anything. So because since our resources are inefficiently employed and we move from and a point from inefficiency to efficiency. So since our resources were sort of idle, so we really don't have to forego anything, or we don't really have to make a trade-off to increase the production of one thing. And that's exactly what I've written here, that if we use them efficiently, um, if we employ them efficiently, you know, the production of some goods could be increased without having to forego less of anything. So the trade-off technically would not exist. Like for example, if you move from point A to point B, you're actually increasing the output of capital goods without having to forego you know, the output of consumer goods because you were underemploying your resources before, you were less than full employment or you were technically, you know, not utilizing your resources efficiently. So in either case, you sort of don't have to increase, you, you don't have to forego any consumer goods in order to produce more capital goods because of either of the two reasons. So point A to B or point A to C both represents actual, actual growth, right? It's actual growth as in you're utilizing your existing capacity, whatever existing resources you had, and you're increasing their output. You're using them to increase their output. Either you're sort of employing them more efficiently, or if they were underemployed, uh, you know, and that had that was the reason why 
you were inside the PPC, you are utilizing those idle capacity, you're utilizing those idle resources and using them and then moving towards the PPC, either on the PPC or close to the PPC. In either case, you will be, um, you know, either case that represents actual growth. And in, 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 in both the cases, um, ag- your economic growth will occur. Your GDP would go up since more consumer and capital goods are being produced. So definitely GDP will go up. And that's what economic growth is. That is increasing GDP. But then here, increasing GDP is due to actual growth as in utilization of whatever existing factors of production you had, right? So that's what actual growth for you is, right? That's what actual growth is. And that is how you show actual growth through a rising PPC. So at times, even if in past papers, the question will come, that you know you're representing if you want to represent economic growth through the ppc diagram so you need to show both the situations the actual growth versus the potential growth okay so that's what actual growth is now let's move on to what potential growth is so guys potential growth is also economic growth but then this sort of economic growth represents an economic growth that is more sustained more sustainable and it occurs due to a rise in productive capacity when the productive potential of the economy goes up. So this potential growth, the economy's productive potential will go up, right? The economy's productive capacity will go up. So if the economy's productive capacity goes up, if the economy's productive potential goes up, that's what potential growth is. And that's again, an example of more of economic growth. So you could say it's a more long-term growth. It's a more sustained growth, more sustainable growth, since it results into increase in productive capacities of the economy and that's caused by an outward shift of ppc um so right now i'm not going to be discussing the factors that causes potential growth because there's a separate video i'm going to make a separate video for that but you can see clearly here let's suppose your capacity to produce capital goods was 10 units while consumer goods was let's say 15 and now after the shift in ppc the capacity to produce capital goes rises to let's say from 10 to probably 20 and from 15 to probably 30 so like we can see that the maximum capital goods that you can produce now is 20 from 10 and now 30 consumer from 15 so that's potential growth right and that is also economic growth because this is an economic growth that is telling us that your economy's capacity has gone up. And so this is potential growth, growth in terms of potential, economy's productive capacity has gone up. So for example, if we are at point A on PPC1, right? If you're at point A on PPC1, let's say, and we were producing maybe, I don't know, somewhere around seven capital goods and probably 10 consumer goods. So now from point A, we can probably move to point B where we are now producing, um, you know, how many, Capital goods, you're producing sort of uh, maybe um, nine capital goods with uh, probably, you know, um, let's say uh, with probably close to probably 12 consumer goods, right? So now we can see that this point is initially this point was outside the PPC1 boundary. It was outside the capacity. It was outside the PPC1 uh, frontier, which is, you know, it represented something that we cannot achieve because all that was desirable, this point B was desirable, but it was unattainable before. But since the BPC shifted outwards and now this point B becomes achievable, it becomes attainable. So what we're trying to say over here is this, this sort of growth is more beneficial for the economy in terms of sustainability, in terms of long run sustainable output, because here your capacity is going up. Maybe the economy is investing more infrastructure. The infrastructure of the economy is increasing or is growing better. Um, Or maybe the economy has discovered, let's say, you know, oil, for example, which is a key raw material that will definitely increase the potential of all the industries in the economy to produce more beyond that it could initially produce right or maybe you know there's an increase in the labor productivity that increases the efficiency of the economy and increasing increases the potential to grow a more consumer and capital goods so in either case the potential is going up there is growth in the economy the economy moves from point a to b and that's what but then again the the, the movement from point a to b is again a representation of the fact that the economy has is has exceeded uh, its capacity and that's the reason why the ppc shifted outwards and that's the reason why you definitely went from point a to point b because before point b was not possible but now it is possible so yeah that's it that so both cases are cases for economic growth there's actual growth and then there's potential growth and both are economic growth both are representing that gdp is rising however the reasons and to and the way that you need to show that in the exam are sort of different but you need to know the reasons 
So just to recap, two minutes, A to B, either from actual growth, you utilize existing resources that were previously unemployed, or you can say underemployed, they were, you were below full employment, you utilize them, you utilize the spare capacity, and then you move close to full employment towards the PPC boundary, that's actual growth. Or even if they were utilized before, let's say, uh, you know, they were fully utilized, but they were inefficiently utilized. So even if they are inefficiently utilized, you will still be below the PPC because if because on the PPC, we assume that we are efficiently utilizing our resources, right? And we are producing them, we are producing an output combination to the best of our uh, possibilities and capabilities, uh, you know, using the best of, of our production techniques. But then if even if they are fully employed, but they are inefficiently employed, will still be below what we could actually make. And that's why we'll be inside the VPC. So even if we improve our production techniques and all of that, or even if we improve the fact that we become more efficient, so we'll move close to the PPC or on the PPC, that's sort of also representing growth for us, right? So that's how you that's how you show actual growth on a PPC diagram and then potential growth through an outward shift in production possibility curve. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I'll see you all around in the next video. Until then, take care.